everybody. Linda Bean from the Kellyanne Dolan Memorial Fund. Welcome to our Wednesday Shining a Light segment. Um, here with my good friend, Tony Altamari from Tony Roney's. Um, Tony, thanks for making the time and joining Absolutely. us today. Absolutely, my pleasure. Awesome. Um, what we know is Tony Roney's has been such a good friend to the fund for many, many years. Um, and we're flipping the script today because we know that the restaurant industry has been hit particularly hard. Um, even those um, like Tony's restaurant that is open for pickup and curbside, it's still a little bit different. So we want to kind of show our love back um, and hear a little bit. Just tell me about, you know, the Tony Roney's um, in general. Difference is a good word to describe what today is going on. Um, I, I never thought that I'd be running pizzas out to cars on Friday nights with gloves and masks on telling people to be safe and enjoy. Um, yeah, it's a different world. I mean, it's, this has hit us hard. It's hit, you know, luckily we're able to stay open and do pickup and delivery, but it's really, really hit restaurants that depend on people coming in hard. And I feel bad for them, you know, hardworking people that um, just can't open. So. We're fortunate that we're open. We're fortunate that we have the community supporting us. Um, and hopefully we're gonna get through it. But our goal is just to keep everyone safe and to serve you know, our great pizza and great food with a great attitude. So we're trying to make the best of it. A um, lot of cleaning, a lot of sanitization, a lot of masks and a lot of gloves. So that's what we've been doing. Um, you know, we transitioned our whole business to be non-contact. Um, we changed our website so you can order online and you know hardly any cash we're doing the best to just transition with it you are and i saw you sent out a great message kind of to the facebook community really talking about how you're pivoting um yeah. you know it's one thing if a business is open but it's another thing do folks feel comfortable you know coming uh you know to your doors and even though now um it's just you know take out and delivery um, I think you're kind of planning to really pivot for, you know, fingers crossed June 4th um, that, you know, we're, we're able to reopen with these new safety precautions. Yeah. Yeah, which is great. Um, tell me a little bit about you. You've been a supporter of the fund in so many different ways for, for many years through being um, a vendor at our taste events um, recently. Um, Gwinnett Mercy Academy Elementary, you kind of provide the, the pizzas to us for those events. What is it about the Dolan Fund that um, wants you to keep coming back and supporting us? Well, think about what you guys do. I, I believe it's amazing. Um, you look at your mission, you look at what you do in the community and all these events, and you're doing it to help people who need you financially. Like, this is what life's about. It's about giving back. I mean, you have families that have to decide on working or staying with their children who are in the hospital and you're doing so much out of the kindness of your hearts that's been established what was the year 19 was it 76 76 yeah 76 you've been doing that long how can you not be involved so i know a lot of people know of the kelly and Dillon foundation but what really people should do is get dialed in look at your website look at your mission because what you guys do for families is incredible so Anything you ever need, as you know, I've always been there and I always will be there because I think you that, have. that's you have. so appreciated. And it's kind of the same mantra, you know, where we want to shop local. We want you to support, you know, local charities because they're the ones that are supporting the families in need in our communities. Yeah. Um, you know, and I want to direct the families too, which is that's what I love it. There's not executives that are on big salaries, you have money that you're raising and you're doing all these wonderful events and tournaments and fitness um, fitness events. And then you're giving money to families that need money to take care of you know, themselves while their, their children are in the hospital suffering, which is, you know, we're all blessed that we're, we don't have that. So we have to be able to help anyone who needs it. So appreciate you having that mindset of giving back to community and knowing that our requests during the pandemic are, you know, up 50%. Um, means a lot. We've got kids with special needs out of school um, with more needs more than ever. So, so, so appreciate it. But I want to kind of transition back to you because even during these challenging times, looking at what you are doing 
for the community to continue to give back. Tell us about what you're doing for essential workers, healthcare, and others during this difficult time. We're doing as much as we can, Linda. Um, and my motto is, you know, we're not saying no to anyone. They want to ask us, we're saying yes. Um, and we're also reaching out, like we reach out to Abington Hospital. I have a friend that heads up the doctor a, a group there. Um, that event you're looking at now, that was actually by Rodney McLeod from the Philadelphia Eagles who asked me to participate. And I was, you know, 100% on top of it. That, that's for a testing center at the University of Penn. Um, one of my favorite ones was, I did a, a thing on um, Facebook about why does everyone order pizza on Friday nights? Like, in, in, especially now, like every day at Tony Roney's is slow except Friday, everyone forgets the pandemic. And my question has been, what is the reason? Like even now, what is the reason? Why can't, and we had a contest and this young lady from Abington won. And the contest was whoever wins, they get to donate 20 pizzas to the charity of their choice. And the, and the best part about it was she took the pizzas and went throughout the community to people who were laid off, people who were not working, who really needed it. And she put, supported her own community. And that, that's it there. And it was just, it was awesome. So it was, that, that felt great to do that. Um, so we just love giving back. Like I said, we had an event at Ridley Park where we have provided, that's it there. We provided a hundred pizza kits in those bags there where people can take it home and they can have fun with their families making pizzas. Um, and it was just a way of giving back. And we did it in the Ridley Park community because, you know, we felt that they, they got hit hard. It's a very blue collar area that needed us. So we were there for them, our customers. And, um, you know, it just feels good. It feels good to help because this isn't about money. This isn't about, you know, if we're making the sales or we're struggling, this is about helping people when we can. And when you look at everyone that's out there, you know, like doctors and nurses that their whole lives are changed and they're risking, they're risking their lives for, for us. I'd be glad to help anyone I can. Yeah, putting themselves on the line um, where, you know, we may be a little frustrated and stir crazy, you know, the fact that, you know, our routine's been disrupted, but, you know, think about it. We're doing to keep ourselves safe, uh, ourselves safe and others safe where they don't have that luxury. So pretty incredible what you're doing to, to give back in, in so many ways. Yeah, it's so, actually an honor that I'm in a position that I can do it. So, and all my employees love it too. Like they, I have a great team. They've been by my side the whole time. And, you know, no one requested to, to take off. And um, luckily, knock on wood, we've been blessed that no one's gotten sick. Um, you know, we're protecting our team. We're protecting our customers. So yeah, it's been, it's been good. We've been fortunate, thank God. Right, right. So families, experiencing a little more uh, togetherness than they're uh, used to these days during the pandemic. Talk about what you have in terms of um, how they can switch it up, maybe some specials that can uh, make mealtime um, a little fun too. I think you've got something, you've got um, some pizza kits that the whole yeah, family can kind of get in on. Family meals that we're doing now. Um, there's about four or five different ones that we have. And one of them also, which is really cool, is the cheesesteak family party where you can make your own cheesesteaks, which is cool. Um, but we do family dinners where you can order them online, you can call, and it feeds a family of four with the dinner and the dinner rolls. Um, we're also doing, like I said, the pizza kits and tomato pie kits that you can make at home. Um, and that there is, is just came from an idea. I've always done this with my kids, but that was one of the best times we had in the pandemic um, a few weeks ago. So we. We have the pizza kits you can make your family and you create memories. That's our tomato pie kit. Um, you know what, Lynn, the, the biggest thing I want to say about this too, which I learned and you talk about being blessed. It's about perspective. We have, you know, we, we're locked in our homes or I'm not because I've been working through the whole thing, but people are locked in our homes and getting crazy and start crazy. And, you know, you and I have a, a history of working out together. So you got to make sure you're staying and exercising, but it's about perspective, you know, during this pandemic, because I'm working, I didn't get to see my kids for a good six weeks because I didn't want to, God forbid, expose them if, if something happened with me. So they were quarantined at their mother's house. And having that where I didn't have the opportunity to be with my kids, it, it killed me. And then they came back last week and I didn't realize, you know, you don't realize sometimes just how blessed you are. And, and just, I would say to everyone, cherish the times, make memories. This is going to go away. All right. We're going to be here. Um, the pandemic will go away and hopefully, We'll continue on with our lives and we'll be stronger from it, but it's about the choices that we're making, you know, and the way we think. Like we have family of priority and we have 
and we're enjoying the times together. And again, we're exercising, eating healthy, except for pizza nights. Um, and you can get through it and you'll remember this and hopefully it'll, it'll make us stronger and better people together. Yeah. yeah. You know, it's, it's the silver lining. You know, I think we're trying to look at a lot that has been lost in the frenetic pace of all of our lives, trying to get everything in and being able to make kind of these, these or reconnect um, yeah. connections with one another in, in a meaningful way. And I think, that's the takeaway out of this, which is, you know, hopefully not lost. And I, I can tell you as your, your friend that, that pizza kit, you know, I was um, privileged enough to be invited to your home as those pizza kits were being launched out, right? And there's a whole group of us and it was such a fun night. You must have had, you know, 50 different toppings and we just kind of gathered great conversation. We just got to make our own pie. Um, it's just a great way to decompress and share time as a family and friends. And, you know, hopefully June 4th, things are going to lighten up a little bit. Um, yep. Certainly there's going to be limits on large events and gatherings, but this is still a great way yep. to connect with your friends and family and have some delicious food. Yep. And make, sh make sure you remember the importance of all this and uh... I would just say, remember that if you did get connected with your family and you did stay home and make dinners with your kids and you did have fun playing Monopoly or, or going for walks, don't forget that because that was brought back to us. Unfortunately, it was brought back to us with the pandemic, but you know, that, there are times that I'm, I'm not going to change that with my life. You know, I, uh, I, have a lot, I have a lot of walks that I go on, which I love. I enjoy the nature and I enjoy spending time with my kids and just being here. So it's, it's, it's fun. A great life lesson. And I know you, you're either working out or working. Before I let you go, we want to talk about, I think you have unveiled um, an app to make things, you know, pretty easy in terms of ordering from you. So tell me a little bit about it. The Tony Roney app. Um, yeah, so we're doing it where we're trying to make it fast, easy, and convenient for people to order online. They can pay, they can come into the front door, give us their number, and walk out. Um, or if they want to stay in their car, we're actually bringing it out to them for delivery. They can put instructions on there about where they want the food delivered. So again, it's, it's just like it says right there, it's fast and easy. Um, I'm trying to mirror a lot of things that, uh, in my opinion, on the tech side, not the food side, but on the tech side, Domino's Pizza is done. Um, they're incredible. Um, so we just, we're really trying to make it easy and fast, obviously with great, great food um, and great service. Because again, the goal is, People want that safety and people want that security, but they also want the speed and efficiency to make sure that, you know, when they're doing the orders that they're not sitting on the phone too long. So yeah, the app is awesome. We've been, it's been evolving the Tony Ronnie's for the last six months, but we really enhance it with this pandemic. It really gives it, you know, fast forward. Do you create an opportunity on that? Um, I've been trying to really generously tip those who have stayed open because they're, putting their lives at risk. Do you create an option for that where the delivery? Yeah. Right. On. And, and it's crazy because I, I, a lot of calls are coming in for orders and people order like, you know, one pizza and let's say it costs, for example, $14.99 with delivery and tax. And then they're, they're throwing $10 tips. A guy the other day, I, drew, I brought four pizzas out to his car and uh, gave it to him and his wife and he gave me a $20 tip. You know, I give it to my employees, but people are really, really generous and supportive. Yeah. And it really is nice to see. Awesome. I think I might become a delivery driver. <laughs> <laughs> well, you got that personality. You're a people person. Yeah. Yeah, my so it's nice, nice to mix it up for you. Yeah, absolutely. Well, I'll definitely be in. You have no idea the, the amount of time and research Tony's put into the, his recipe for sauce. I am here to vouch that that tomato pie is the, the best of the best. And, you know, those of us who are really trying to stay healthy, um, it's hard when you're home a lot and have access to food 24 seven, but the tomato pie is a nice way of lightening up and um, also Chinese chicken salad, my favorite. So Tony, my friend, thanks for taking the time. We wish you, um, you know, safety, um, much success. We hope that this brings, you know, business in 
um, in the droves and, you know, look forward to when we can really walk back in yeah. and enjoy a meal at the table at one of your restaurants. So thanks for being my guest today. Thank you, Linda. Thank you guys for all you do. And thanks for the interview. This was fun and I appreciate it. Have a great day and be safe. You bet. You too. Bye. Bye.